Alrighty guys, today we've got a video with that team we built yesterday, so let's see how this one goes. It's so exciting starting off a new series of Pokemon. There's so many new Pokemon that are going to be being used purely because those restricted Pokemon are no longer in the game. Uh, so people are going to be thinking of new ways that they can sort of create buffs and get those extraordinary Pokemon in the midst. So yeah, uh, as you can see on the other side, other side we've got some pokemon that we haven't seen for ages so we've got the galarian darmanitan uh we've got the arc dracozole dracozole yeah so awesome to see uh, it looks a little bit interesting it, look it looks like he might have both a trick room and a potential uh tailwind team so yeah, it'll be nice to see what he goes with uh, for this battle, I'm fairly sure I'm going to lead with my Whimsicott and my Arcanine, and he leads with his Damantan and Whimsicott. I'm just going to go straight for the Beat Up and the... Uh, sorry, I will go for the Tailwind and the Max Flam, uh, and now I'm going to go for a Beat Up onto my Arcanine, procking my Justified four times. And then we're going to go for a nice easy max strike onto the Dracozolt, dropping the Whimsicott speed as well, which is lovely. Uh, and now he's going into his Charizard Gigantamax forming. I go for a Moonblast there, just in case it was a Focus Sash that I knew it was probably going to be the Whimsicott, but just wanted to be safe. And we take it out with a max lightning. Uh, now he goes for an Icicle Crash onto the Whimsicott, taking it out, and we take the Demanitan out with a Flare Blitz. Uh, he's not doing that much damage with his Dazzling Gleam, that's why I was sort of attacking around him. Go for a Thunderbolt there, does a ton of damage, and then is taken out by the Flare Blitz. And we end up at half health after the Aguave Berry activates. So this was a fairly good battle and fairly interesting to see. A lot of threats, but again, when you've got a Pokemon like Whimsicott on the other side and a bunch of off offensive threats, you've really just got to attack around uh, that support Pokemon as much as possible. Yes, they can sometimes be doing more. So if that Pokemon, uh, if that Whimsicott was using fake tears and he had a bunch of special attackers in the back, yeah, I probably might have put a little bit more pref um, a little bit more of a priority into taking it out. However, it was just going for Dazzling Gleams and Tailwind and really didn't have any purpose for the team or any real big threatening moves. Uh, that's why I attacked around it and just left it to last. I knew I had uh, a few Pokemon in the back that were going to be able to look after it. I had Landorus, t um, Landorus the Genie form with Sludge Bomb, which would have been taking it out pretty easily. Uh, Reggie Lecky outspeeding and doing a ton of damage. So yeah, we, we were comfortable. We didn't really have anything to worry about. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy today's video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, bye.